Hello and welcome everyone. This is uh, John RMS, aka Ace Bullion here. Today's the 5th of February, 2020. And today's video is quite, <laughs> I don't know how to put it. It's gonna be quite fun and a little bit bizarre. Um, now, there's four coins involved. It is a review, but it's not. I mean, there, there is a review behind it, uh, but here's why. Now, I was sent two coins by uh, the Silver Trader to review, to have a look at. It was part of a large uh, package that he had sent me. At the same time, um, I also had received a package which has arrived. Um, now, I actually thought that there was a day apart or two days apart. But let's start off, I guess, with the package because I think this is cool before I go into the review. Fragile. So. <laughs> Congratulations on the win, John RMS. I hope you don't mind me, uh, I'm sorry, I hope you don't mind helping me uh, with the calories. <laughs> And of course, a silver bean counter. There we go. Now, it just cracked me up. Silver bean counter had done a review of these exact coins that I will be featuring. Uh, as have a lot of people in America that I noticed. I believe uh, they were sent out to various channels to, you know, as gifts and to be reviewed. Um, now, that's super cool. I was never sent one, uh, so that's okay. But I, I think it was an American company that was sending them out. I can't be too sure. But anyway, so I left a comment on Silver Bean's video, and lo and behold, I actually won, believe it or not. It was quite bizarre. Um, so I'm going to put him here for now because I, I like that. So what did I win? Well... This isn't a, about winning video, but it is about me acknowledging. Uh, I guess you could say, well, I'm going to be giving my two cents to you guys because he's giving me his two cents, huh? <laughs> Thankfully in a chocolate form. Um, and he had also sent... <laughs> oh... A fantastic bar of chocolate. I do love my milk chocolate. Uh, so thank you so much. And no, that's not all I won. In fact, let's move the chocolate away because I don't want anything chocolate related getting in the way of this. But uh, in this rather large and elaborate box, because he, he, you know, he was happy to send some stuff around, I got two of these. So, I'll put those aside for the moment, because I'm here to do a coin review on two of these. <laughs> yep, that's right. So, I have not only the brand new 2020 Australian Shipwreck, but I also have the 2019 Australian Shipwreck. And... I'm looking forward to actually showing these off. So these are the ones here and I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna leave these just aside for the moment for this video because I'm gonna go by the coins that I have at the moment. So, and these were sent in from the Silver Trader. Um, and he sends me these to give an honest uh, review. Uh, if you go and check out the link that I do provide, you'll see uh, in his latest blog that, well, he acknowledges and I'm there. Ta-da! Okay, so let's take a look at the 2019, because I do like these things. And I have to be, <laughs> this is the funny thing, because I'm kind of in a situation where, A, I now have them, so I own them, um, I'm here to give a review, and my reviews are always honest, so I don't have to give a review and a history lesson on these coins. 
Uh, but I'll, I'll give a little bit. Uh, but I'm going to talk about the coins regardless of the fact. So let's have a look. So first off, we have the uh, Matava, or you know, I, I can't pronounce it properly, and that's a horrible way to do it, but if we zoom in super close, we can see this is going to be the 2019 version. You'll see the date 1629. That has significance, yep. And it's a one ounce, three nines, AG. Guess what? They also do a one ounce, three nines, a U coin. Now this is a really, why did I say coin? Hmm. If we flip it around, it says one dollar. So what about the uh, the other one? Because I mentioned obviously that there's a gold one. Well, yeah, that one will say one hundred dollars. Now, apart from the value amount and of course the the different metal being used, one silver, one gold. Um, Everything else is the same. Now, I, I would love to have one of these in gold as well, but I'm not going to. So, they, these two coins that I'm about to show you each have a mintage of 20,000. Now, it, it's on the average side. It's, it's definitely a collector's uh, coin, and it depicts... Well, this, this one in particular depicts a, uh, a, a scene of mutiny here, uh, which ultimately led to its demise, because uh, I believe what, what happened on this coin is that it had run into a bit of, uh, you know, some rough patches uh, whilst it was uh, sailing. Hence why when you flip the coin over, ultimately you're going to see that the ship is upside down. And that's where the final, uh, that's basically how the ship ended up um, in the ocean. So it's a pretty, pretty cool thing. Now, normally on most coins, you'll see a reeded edge, but the Australian mint um, has made it uh, a very smooth and very clean. And this is their new series. They're bringing out... Um, a lot of these square triangle shaped uh, coins and, you know, go for it. I love it. Uh, it's very similar to the Route 66 from Atmax. I love that series. And I, I know that I have uh, a friend, uh, Jeep and John, who's sending me uh, something, one of the latest versions uh, that I'm waiting on. And there's only a couple more left in that, but... Super hard to get a hold of over here in the UK. Uh, and, you know, if you do, I'm, I'll am i be paying, a you know, a huge premium. So let's have a look at this detail because I'm eight minutes in and I really want to go through. So this is a 2019. And on the top, we're going to see here the date. We have Queen Elizabeth II. You can see in the background... The ship as it's going down, really superb. And look at some of these facial expressions. You have the mother on the right hand side holding her child. You have someone there who's clearly brought an, uh, a knife to a gunfight. Um, <laughs> not the best, uh, even if it's in a spear, uh, a spear like uh, condition, but you know, back in the day, that would have been a black powder pistol. Uh, I say pistol, sorry, rifle. You have two men in the back who are fighting. Um, one looks like he has a sword. The other, again, almost like, a, I believe that's almost a harpoon. Let's see if I can try to focus on that a bit more. It does almost look like a, a harpoonish weapon. 
Um, now this is one of these coins that are very, very busy, but also at the same time, they are very intricate. You have multiple layers. Oh, there's a lot going on. Um, I will tell you that to really appreciate this, you're going to need some kind of magnification and because the coins themselves are very small, but they're also a bit thicker than your average, obviously one ounce, um, let's say American Eagle or Canadian Maple or Britannia. So, so let's have a look on the back. And as we've already seen, we'll, we'll write the ship for the moment here. We also have some figures. Let's see if I can zoom in. Get these nice. Little crest there. And I like how they've just made it drape. And then we have the, um, oh, I'm gonna get, if I get this wrong, I'm in trouble. The cherubs on the very top, you know, um, very similar to like watching a movie. You get these, uh, the two cherubs right at the very top, kind of closing the scene of the ship. Now, some will call them angels, some will call them whatever, but yeah, there you go. So that was on the 2019. And I really wanted to, to bring it in and to show you the detailing of it. Um, and, you know, my only, <laughs> my only criticism would be is that on such a small surface, they had to incorporate so much detail. But that's not really a criticism. That's also a praise at the same time because it is incredible. So did they do the 2020 coin any justice? Again, this is the, um, well, <laughs> I'm not going to pronounce it, but it's the uh, something like Virgul Dra... Dra uh, see, I can't pronounce that. I am rubbish. Go over on Silver Bean's channel to actually hear him, because I think he likes to say it over and over again. But, um, yep, yeah, this one ended up capsizing, sadly. Um, and what had happened, which is why, obviously, when you flip this coin over, it's showing that it's capsized, uh, versus the other one where you can actually see when you flip it over, you get the belly and all the, um, you know, the parts, uh, the bow and stern, everything just really the, the backbone of the ship showing through. But this is the one that's fully capsized. And if we have a look here, we'll turn it around again, just to show you. Now this one depicts uh, a knight on the very top. And I think that is rather special. A nice knight there. And then we have some sea lions there. Flip this over, which I got completely wrong because I had it in the wrong position. And again, we have the Queen Elizabeth II, another, as you can see here, 2020. Now, here we go here, and you can see everything. Um, this was just one heck of a tragedy. Um, what happened was, is a lot of uh, Spanish and um, I believe it was Chinese silver and so on and so forth coins uh, were lost. Um, and there were less than 100 people who survived. I think uh, it was about 70 odd people. They were fighting to save uh, as many crew members as possible, but it was a, a really horrific event. 
Um, you know, I like the fact that obviously you're looking at tragedy. You know, it's it's something that has come to it, but you know, as I shine the light on here, um, and with any tragedy, what you do see is that you see humanity in the background, you know, trying to save another person, you have someone else just there, caught out by the waves. Um, and yes, okay, they're making a statement on the, the left hand side here where you can obviously what was being carried. And they're also making a statement to really show you, look, you know, it was torn to bits. I mean, yeah, it was insane. But I mean, if you take a look really closely here, you can see at the very top, just under, under the queen's neck, there is part of the, uh, the actual uh, stern and you know, just, wow, the booms and all, just everything. It's insane. And then just one small uh, life lifeboat, if you really want to call it that. Um, look how violent those waves are. I think the artist has done a really good job with this. And uh, again, we flip it around. You get to see the ship in all its glory beforehand. And we have a different date, obviously. This one is 1656. Whereas the other date here on the first one was 1629. So, yeah. It is a very, very busy, both of these are very busy and very intricate coins. Now, again, this one uh, is also limited to 20,000 mintage in silver and only 250 in gold. Now, I say only 250. 250 in gold is an awful lot. Now, if... If they really wanted to make this nautical theme stand out as a major collector's invest, you know, investment, um, they could have half the numbers and it would be an instant hit and sell out. But even with the numbers as they are, these are very popular. These are already increasing in premiums. And I would suggest to anybody out there that has found this video interesting and is liking it, um, then start the series as quickly as you can because the 2019 coin, uh, coin here is only going to shoot up for a while in value. And I think what they're waiting for is what the next coin will be because throughout history there were plenty of uh, ships that have gone down but what will it be what will the story you know tell um i'm all about the details i am very much about how we have different shadings different marks different colors different just everything and, de you know, all the details. And when you look at the sales, how they actually, they're, they're almost standing out. You could almost feel the, the puff of wind behind them. Quite literally, you know. Um, you can see the motion in that just as it's stood there. That's my opinion. Now, as I said, a lot of, a lot of people were actually sent these and were given... Uh, the chance to, you know, show them off and to show you. And as I said, unless you're going to look at something under, uh, you know, intense magnification. Now, for most, this is going to be what you're going to look at. Just like that. And you're not going to really see it. But once you start to look in, let's say you got really good eyesight, that's what you're going to see. 
once you start increasing it, you could then start to seriously appreciate the details, the hats, the facial expressions, the clothing, the despair on the gentleman's face there. And you look at the actual uh, Spanish uh, silver and um, the Chinese coins and stuff that were around, and you could actually make out what they were. So, hmm. So, I know this is a has been a, a bit longer of a video than I would have wanted it to, but I had to give you a very up close and personal view about it. Now, what's my thoughts and opinions? Do I recommend it? Well, if I move the Silver Traders silver out of the way, and I bring in my box, which, well, you know, I actually put my money where my mouth is. If I like a coin, I'll actually buy it. Now, in this case, I'd happily buy it if I didn't already own, and again, this is courtesy of the silver bean on this one here, if I didn't already own two of these. So I have the silver traders on this side here, and my new ones here, which I'm trying to determine, do I want this side up showing like that? Do I want the queen side up? I'm, you know, I'm thinking I'm gonna want the queen side up. Believe it or not, I think this will be the first one in my entire series of any, you know, anything I collect that I'm actually gonna put the queen side up. Now this is quite ironic because we all heard the stories about trying to fit a square peg in a round hole. Well, I am actually fitting a triangular peg into a round hole. And actually, they do go in very well. <laughs> I will give them credit for that. I didn't, I wasn't really convinced or I wasn't really sure if they would. Um, and I'm doing it for the first time on camera. I'm just adjusting it ever so slightly to make sure that there's enough room. There we go. Yep. So there you have it, folks. Absolutely superb. And this is just the start of the 2020 collection. I have more, but obviously I need to uh, send off some money of mine to the Silver Trader to ensure that I could buy those other coins that I want that I've already reviewed. But a massive thank you to Silver Bean Counter for not only increasing my waist size. I don't think they'll they'll stay in there. <laughs> well, they will, but I'm not going to leave them in there. Um, but not only helping to increase my waist size, but giving me just a very, very cool, very heavy as well piece of chocolate. It is solid. It's three ounces, 85 grams there, man. Look at that. God, it's a brick. But now, Silver Bean Counter, thank you very much. I would have actually really liked, and I was actually digging in this, this box here to see if there was a cool bean in there. And I don't have a cool bean yet. I don't know how many, you know, years now I've been asking for a cool bean, but I still don't have a cool bean, man. But I guess there's always waiting and everything else. So, Silver Bean, uh, thank you so much. Thank you again to Silver Trader for allowing me to do the coin review. And this was awesome to do because as far as I'm concerned, it's shown that I was able to not only be objective, even though I had won some at the same time, but I really enjoyed the fact that I was able to get up super close and to show you all the details. Now that's something that I haven't seen in a lot of videos and it's no criticism to anybody else because you guys definitely nailed it with the names and you guys definitely nailed uh, the history and backlog. Here I like to you know, kind of dig in very deep with the coin 
and I like to look at all the details as closely as possible and to actually look at the motion, look at the commotion and observe what's going on. And I think that I was really able to do so. And hopefully you guys think so as well. So thank you for watching this. Uh, I do apologize, but rather long video. Um, I hope to find your comments down below. Please make sure that you like, subscribe, and share. And if you do want to find out the history, uh, head over to Silver Bean's uh, channel. Have a look to watch his review. Also, have a look at uh, you know Silver Trader again. I'll leave his details down below as he's sponsoring this video, and uh, you'll get a really nice in-depth story. And you know, if you guys are buying from Silver Trader, just say hi, John. You know, seen this on. Uh, John's video if you want <laughs> put it in the notes just for a laugh I don't get anything out of it for the record but uh, it'll wind him up <laughs> but uh, yeah if you have a look on, on his uh, website you'll see on his uh, blog um, you'll also see on the very bottom where there's a it says YouTube and Twitter etc You'll see on the YouTube side, it links directly to my channel for these coin reviews. So again, thank you so much, everyone. Have a great day wherever you are. And I look forward to my next video coming up. So stay tuned. And uh, thank you all very much again. As always, bye for now.